Hi, it's Christy, and I have an Operation Christmas Child box here. This one is for a boy two to four. I love, you know I love packing the two to four year old boxes. Um, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so this one is a, unusual because it has a, a spiral notebook here. And that is probably because the item inside was tall and the composition book couldn't fit in. So let's see what's going on here with that. I have his backpack that he can use for his toys, his school supplies. Um, I think it's very useful even for a child that's not going to school to have a bag that's all his own. A lot of these cultures, um, they don't have, maybe they live in one room and they don't have a dresser. And so they can have uh, a backpack to put their special things in. Oh, this is cute. Look at this walrus. This is going to be a C type theme. I can tell already. Lots of blue going on and a cute. I think this is a seal, a slippery, um, really cute, soft plush. So this little guy is going to get two plush um, in his box. And let's see what's in here. There's a special drawstring bag. Oh, and this has his plastic building fish in it. So I was, if you didn't see my other video with these in it, I was in a thrift store and there were two bags of brand new um, building fish. Uh, you just click them together like this and there's th uh, three different sizes small medium and large and i put them i had so many i put them together in sets that we could include in shoe boxes so i'm just gonna leave it like that there's bright colors there's yellow in here too i know my children would have loved they they had back in the day i don't know if they still do discovery toys and that's what it reminded me of so that is a fun quality toy for him those play fish. And here is a little gem that I stuck on top. There's a little bit of room and these wooden toys are really fun. Um, I don't, I haven't been able to find them lately. Like every um, year after Operation Christmas Child, maybe at Christmas time or after Christmas time, I've seen them come uh, either on Amazon or some other places. But I love these because they just are fun to move. Um, the, the robot in different positions. This one is not painted, so he can use his markers to put a face on this if he wants. Um, here's two toothbrushes with a yellow cap. Here's his crayons. And I thank Christine McCoy for donating those to me. Those are great. A mustache whistle. Put it upside down, there we go. And here's his big item that's in here. That It's kind of tall. I love this tugboat. Now he might not live by water, but he probably lives by dirt somewhere. And so um, these things are really fun to play in the dirt or just play pretend with. And I think I'm sure I put something inside this. Yes, there are, okay, I see some underwear and a bandana with a sea turtle on it. Cute. And that is one of those tubular ones. So there's a lot of, um, you can just use those for play or you can use them as a mask. There's lots of reasons um, to have a tubular bandana. They're fun. Um, and a washcloth, gray washcloth. So that was what was able to fit inside the tugboat. And I love this little, it looks like a face, doesn't it? So if he does live by water, he can be um, pouring it out through the through the mouth of the tugboat. Uh, here's an IKEA spoon and a flying disc. We like these for every age. They are great and inexpensive. And then we have um, oh a cute little anchor anchors away T-shirt with a pocket, so cute, and a yellow comb. Here's his school supply pouch 
with eight pencils and a dual pencil sharpener with a lid and two markers for him. Um, sometimes, or most of the time, we can't fit in a whole big set of markers, but we can fit in a couple of them, and kids love markers. Here's a glue stick and a multi-pen. His red scissors are in here. So he's got a full set of school supplies that he can use, or a sibling or a friend. It's very useful to always send school supplies. Here's a little pad for drawing. It's all blank paper in there. And his Ikea cup with his rattle in here that Michelle makes for me. And cute little socks that are nautical themed with the little crabs and the life preservers. And this is his green ball, which is perfect for a toddler to play with. And a green bandana, bright green. And what else do we have? A coloring book with the sea creatures in it. Michelle makes those and you can get them on blessingsinissuebox.com. She makes the printables and then you can print them out. I just um, think that is a genius idea because I love how it just fits on the bottom of a shoebox and there's so many to choose from. Here's his, the last thing in his box, which is his beautiful lovey that Michelle made. So on this side, we have, oh, all the different sea creatures and the satin, light blue. And on this, we have the navy minky with the little bumps on it. So cute. So that brings us to the end of this box. I wonder if you're making any sea-themed boxes. I really love this walrus. So cute and I know the little boy will love it too. So we're praying a blessing over the child that receives this, that it'll receive, go to just the right boy. And of course, we're gonna be including our letter and picture for him. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye for now.